Okay. Hello everyone. That's what I do here and welcome to what I would argue is the worst Spyro game ever. Let's just get in here and yeah, why not? Let's see. Sparks. I you. Hunter. No. Money bags. No. A teddy bear. What the hell are you? What the hell are you? Okay, you look goofy enough. What the hell are you? What the hell are you? A cow. Alright, we're gonna go with you. You look goofy enough. Oh god. Did you see that dragonfly? <coughs> it's like those never pause a Disney movie things. Oh boy. This game is awful in just about every way. It's just a float, you scaredy cat. Yeah. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. What do you say? Hi. And how are you alive? You fell in lava. We meet again, little dragon. <laughs> I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever. Okay. Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you. This is an invitation only party. Very clever, Dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian land mass. Keep thinking, and I will send you back to the place I found you. Unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Oh, snap. Back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I'm glad that you asked, Purple Pest. He's got such a bouncy head. Straight. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, dragonfly. <laughs> what? <clears throat> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but you see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. What? Soon the dragon homelands will be mine. That doesn't make <laughs> any sense. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Really? Even Sparks is gone. I hadn't noticed. Spyro, Hunter, don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. How do you know where to start? That's something I wish she would explain. But she is right. She finds Spark, like, instantly. Sparks! I thought I lost you, pal. You did. What? What? That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back. Okay. Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is, I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. Cool. The bad news is, you're gonna have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool. Come on, Sparks. Let's get going. We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? Why does Bianca look so angry? Yeah, everything about this is terrible. Sparks was the only dragonfly in existence. And then, all of a sudden, they're the ultimate power, when in the last game, dragons were magical all by themselves. Makes no damn sense at all. Shh. 
So. How do we start this here? What's this thing? Here, take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. They're shy and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Bubble breath. I get us to catch Tap dragon. Tap your L button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. I get us to catch dragonflies, but that's that seems very degrade. How do I? There we go. Cyro, the magic of this sacred room will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. You say that like it's like a holy ritual. It's just bubbles. No big whoop. What? What? Okay. Oh, that was easy. Hey, it's Tunes. Tunes. That is an adorable name. I love it. That's perfect. Absolutely. What the hell was that? Earlier I had some controller problems. Maybe it's not plugged in properly. Or it could just be this terrible game. Yeah, this game kind of feels like it's lagging a little bit. It's not. This is as fast as it's supposed to, um... This is the first Spyro game that's ever told me that you gotta attack these things. No Spyro game's ever done that before. Hey. Oh, come on. So, where exactly do I find these butterfly sparks? Can we all just take a moment to appreciate how ridiculous this is? Alright. Thanks. Well, you did take care of it. So yeah, the logic in this game doesn't make sense. The fact that Ripto is alive doesn't make sense. I mean, we killed him, and we also killed his minions. He was especially sad about Crusher. Hi, Hunter. Hey, Spyro. You know, if you press the A button to jump, then press the A button again in midair, you can glide. Really? Try using your glide to follow me. The graphics in this game, this is GameCube, and somehow the graphics are worse than PlayStation 1. It's like way worse, even though it seems they try to do better. And the voice acting, I just sounds so sarcastic. Listen. Way to go, Spyro. I think I see something shiny on that ledge over there. You can get there by hovering. To hover, press the Y button at the end of your glide. It looks like an unfinished game that was released.
Nice work, Spyro. And check this out. I found a dragonfly. Here, why don't you take it? Or you could just send it back. Hey, it's Bubbles. Okay. His name is Bubbles. Where did Hunter go? Whatever. Okay. That sounds easy enough, but what's the challenge? What do I have to do? I wonder how Sparks knows this since the dragonflies just went missing. Activated? How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. Just walk through it. Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. No, it's not. Did you just say youch? That's new Spyro. I didn't realize you were such a wuss when it comes to charging. Where's the last one? There it is. I did it! You're welcome. Hey, it's Jade. I'm sorry, what was its name? I don't even know. Let's see, there's more treasure over here. Let's get more of that. This is where Ripto came from, so... Is it just me, or is there weird flashing dot things on it? I don't know. Now, if I recall, the first world I have to go to is over here. Is that right? Hi. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before Ripto. What's wrong with your jaw? Like, the end part of the... of your jaw kind of like just bends downwards. It looks like the Riptox have frozen all the Dragon Masters. That's impressive. How did they do that? Ah, they didn't put up a fight. You're going to have to use your flame breath to melt the ice and find out what happened here. Should I? Just by looking at them, I can tell they didn't even fight back. Didn't even try. The, the Rhinox just came over like, Hey, we're gonna freeze you up! And they're like... Very well. Let me just get in the proper freezing position. <laughs> Did 
Dramatic much? I do like how dramatic the enemies are when you flame them. Very amusing. Hi. Bye. By the way, these enemies, they're called Rhinox, I think. These things are supposed to be dumber than a bowl of soup. How did they learn ice magic? There we go. Hey, it's Steffi. Steffi? What kind of name is that for literally anyone? Is it like short for Stephanie? Oh, that would make sense. Just taking my time. We passed by a grasshopper. Considering the theme of this world, that's gotta be like a pun in itself. Easy. How did you get stuck in that? Ah, Spyro, thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Riptox would dare invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo? I would. Spyro, do what you can to return the Dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remember, Spyro, the way of the Dragon is to be a Dragon. But he is a Dragon. You had magic this whole time, you didn't use it to defend yourself. You just curled up in a ball to be frozen. These masters are a damn joke. Do not tell me what I have to do about this guy. Yep. Fat. Fat? He's not fat. I don't know how he's doing that. In fact, if you look closely at his fingers, I don't think he's actually doing it. His, his, his fingers seem to be freaking out. Cool. I think that's been a thing since the first... What's that floating on the tree? I'll take a look later. That, he didn't have a death scene. What happened? I'll get you later. I'm getting treasured. I'm beating up Rhinox. Those are more of a priority to me than you are. Because you don't make any sense at all. Oh, this game. What 
the hell is going on with the audio? This game is just bad. And the fact that you have to chase the dragonflies is just annoying. And you can't give me that shy bullshit either. These guys go na 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 boo boo. What shy what shy sucker says na 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 boo boo? It would help if the breath actually worked better. Get the hell back here, you psyching There. Hey, it's Shellac! You Shellac! I'm annoyed as hell, I'll be as strict as I want. Ugh. We just started. This hasn't been a challenge at all. And I'm already stressed. I... I don't even know how that makes sense. I'm pretty sure it doesn't... Huh? Oh, hello. Looks like lightning. Do I see someone here? Okay. Could you get my kite out of the tree for me, Spyro? I can't reach it because there's nothing here to stand on. Just me. Is that a hint? To use you? What happens if I to to torch you? <laughs> Weird. I'm pretty sure I've heard that laugh before elsewhere. And how is he already a better flyer than Spyro is? All he can do is glide. Meanwhile, he can flap a bit. I almost didn't make that. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> You're staying in there, buddy. And by the way, you're not even trapped in there. One flame breath and the thing just suddenly disappears. It doesn't melt, it just friggin' vanishes. Oh, that's a dragonfly thing. Alright. Four hundred. Not bad. I don't like these, so bye. Well, isn't that in itself a problem? Conflict is what makes things interesting. This load is taking way too long. I've never had to wait this long for a Spyro game. And I'm st it's still loading. Oh, 
Oh, good. All right, I gotta free the master. Okay, I saw that. You're not even frozen in ice, I saw that. Spyro-san, I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. Uh-huh. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Really? Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. Will it? Because I don't think Spy I think Spyro's only had like one vacation. And he's been through three adventures. These senses are not impressive. Behold, our powerful magic to open sliding doors. You can tell these guys uh, are not very impressive senseis. I'm sorry, but they're just not. Oh, there's the gem for a minute. I thought he didn't spit one out. Is Moneybags in pit? Nope, 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 he's not. He's in a, um, what are they called? Uh, Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Shocker. Yeah, 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 here you go. Hey, you actually pay him. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. But look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. Magic? That's cool. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I'm pretty sure it's the only time we ever see him in this game. You are a dragon wise beyond your years. May the dragon spirits guide you on your way. That's it. No useful wisdom. Just... You won't even open a door for us. Cool. You are wise. I hope things vaguely go well for you. Goodbye. Oh, that's why there's no one here. Good work, Spyro-san. Those rip talks don't seem to be much of a challenge for you. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. Um... I mean, your destiny. Now, I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I mean, destiny, Spyro. Dude, just shut up. Uh-huh. Hi, you get away from me. Jeez. <laughs> 